Money is everything, in life and in Terraria. Well, not everything, but it's important. There are many ways to make money in Terraria. Defeat powerful enemies, foraging for treasure, and selling items to NPCs are the three biggest. Today, I want to talk about one accessory that will help you increase the amount of money you have and make you rich in Terraria. You don't have to equip it all the time, only when you're farming for money or looking to save money, but you could definitely keep it in your inventory slot until you want to use it. The item is the Greedy Ring. It combines three different other money-making accessories from the Powered Invasion. What does it do exactly? Let's hop in to the video. The greedy ring is made by combining the lucky coin, discount card, and gold ring and provides the player with all their benefits. First up, enemies will start to drop coins upon being hit. Normally enemies drop coins upon death, but with the greedy ring equipped, there's a 20% chance that an enemy will drop a coin upon being hit. The dropped coin has an 89% chance to be copper, 10% chance to be silver, and a 1% chance to be gold. This means that using super low damage weapons can yield heavy profit because the enemy will be hit so many times and will drop many coins. For example, using low damage but fast shooting guns like the Mega Shark against tanky enemies like the Ice Golem is a great way to farm money. They'll drop a few coins every second and you can turn this into a full size farm with some work and different weapons. The Crimson Rod is another great option apart from the Mini Shark since it allows you to sit inside a box and stay safe while the rain hits your enemies and causes them to drop tons of coins. The second thing that the Greedy Ring does is lower the cost of items purchased from NPCs including the Traveling Merchant and Reforging with the Goblin Tinkerer. This comes from the Discount Card which is one of the ingredients to the Greedy Ring. The Discount is super useful to save money, especially for certain classes like rangers who need to constantly refill their ammo by purchasing bullets from the arms dealer. As I said, the discount also applies to the goblin tinkers reforging. You'll be spending 20% less money when trying to get the modifier you want. The discount will also stack on top of NPC happiness, which means using the discount card to buy something from a max happiness NPC will allow you to have an additional 17% discount on top of the 20% from the greedy ring. For a quick guide on NPC happiness, check out the video linked in the description. The last ability the greedy ring gives you is an increased range to pick up coins which comes from the gold ring. This is very useful during mainly invasions and when navigating around enemy filled areas like the underground jungle. You'll pick up a lot more coins than normal because you'll attract coins from enemies that are farther away or enemies that your summon kills. Now how do we actually get the greedy ring? There's good news and bad news. The bad news is that the three ingredients that make up the greedy ring have very low drop chances. The good news is that they all come from the same invasion and can be transmuted into one another. Here are the drop chances of the lucky coin, discount card, and gold ring in expert mode from different enemies in the pirate invasion. As you can see, fighting the pirates themselves isn't the best idea since the chances of one of the three ingredients dropping is so low. Focus on the flying dutchmen since they have the highest chance. Using any luck boosting factors like the luck potion or galaxy pearl will help greatly too. The pirate invasion has a small chance to happen randomly on any given day automatically or can be summoned manually by using a pirate map. Pirate maps are a 1% chance drop from any enemies killed in the ocean bound during hard mode but they're pretty easy and straightforward to get. Battle potions can also help greatly with getting the pirate map and can also help during the invasion to get one of the three ingredients for the greedy ring to drop. Unfortunately, water candles don't affect invasion rates, meaning that they won't help you here. Despite the lucky coin, discount card, and gold ring having very rare drop chances, one good thing is that you can transmute duplicates using the shimmer. Basically, you can shimmer the lucky coin, discount card, and gold ring into one another. All you have to do is find the ether bomb and throw them in. This means that, for example, if you get three lucky coins from the pirate invasion, you can transmute the second one into the discount card card and the third one into the gold ring and then make the greedy ring so duplicates are useful and that's it the greedy ring is a great accessory in terraria that is available in early hard mode and provides endless value have you ever made it before do you think that it's worth it leave a like for more content like this and i'll see you guys in the next video have a beautiful day and peace